Hi, my name's Deb King. Today's Science Tomorrow's World will explore the grand challenges of our time, climate change and environmental sustainability from multiple disciplinary perspectives. You'll discover how University of Melbourne researchers from science, technology, engineering and mathematics are making vital contributions to our understanding of the world around us. Let's hear from some of our world-leading academics who will give you a glimpse into their research and how it impacts on the global climate crisis. Hi, I'm Andrew King. I'm a climate scientist. So I research uh, recent and future climate change, trying to understand how the climate will change in the 21st century and beyond. I also look at extreme weather events and how they've changed in the past and how they will change in the future. And I'm also interested in uh, inequality of climate change, uh, both generationally, the fact that younger people today experiencing more climate extremes than older generations have, and also across the world, where in less economically developed areas, people are more uh, vulnerable to climate change impacts. This subject's uh, a great opportunity uh, for everyone to learn a little bit about climate change and sustainability. These are kind of the biggest uh, challenges we face this century uh, going forward and we need to have everyone really understand the problem and be part of the solution. I'm Catherine Bowen and I'm a social epidemiologist. So my research interests focus on the nexus between global environmental change, human health and governance. I particularly focus on supporting low and middle income countries to develop their health policies to respond to climate change. So climate change has been declared the greatest public health emergency this century. This subject will explore why that is the case, but importantly, students will have an opportunity to work towards solutions. So how are we going to appropriately respond to the human threats of climate change? Hi, my name's Todd Lane. I'm an atmospheric scientist. I've spent my career working on thunderstorms, how they work, how to predict them, and how they might change in the future. This subject is a great opportunity for students to apply what they learn in their science degree in all the different subjects to the study of climate because it's going to be really important in everything we do in the future to think about how climate is changing and what we need to do to mitigate it. The investigation I'm involved in is about weather and climate modelling. Students will learn how the climate models are built, what's used to construct them, what their limitations are and what the future opportunities are to think about different computer architectures like quantum computing, but also apply ideas around big data, machine learning and artificial intelligence to climate modelling. Hi, uh, my name is Raquel San Nicolas and I'm a sustainable material specialist. So my research is actually focused on material for construction. The main issue is uh, the huge quantity of concrete that are consuming and the enormous CO2 footprint that the concrete has due to uh, the cement that we are using in it. And so we have been working on making concrete without cement in order to completely erase uh, this uh, huge CO2 footprint. I think it's really important to excite young students and tell them about uh, climate change problems and how actually at the University of Melbourne we are actively researching and developing great solutions in order to tackle those issues. That's just a small sample of the areas you can investigate in this innovative subject, Today's Science, Tomorrow's World. There's so much more to discover in the Bachelor of Science. We can't wait for you to join us so you can be one of the next generation of scientists tackling the big challenges facing humanity.